What's going on? Why is this happening? I don't know what's going on. It's burning under the skin. All right, I didn't see this before. Oh, uh, there we go. So these vines, I guess... Um... Oh man, you gotta really look for some of these. So I get maybe the because I touched the vines without pulling them back, they just killed me. Three connections, all pointing to individual orbs. Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. Who shall conceive of the terrible wonders wrought by my secret labor? Will they who sleep reward me, punish me? Will they even notice? The children of Mars worshipped a being whose name roughly translates to the Immaculate Machine. These orbs are artifacts of that mystery cult. They are filled with power by that celestial light anima. The light drives back the dark, but also the liquid enlightenment of the dreamers, what the benighted have called Nurgle's rot, the black worm jism, and the filth. I'll reclaim the term from the unenlightened, I'll call it the filth, because it stains the mind, pins the illumined text that rides in the wrinkly tome of the skull, the crawling muse. But it's saturated my mind too much. A page dipped entirely in ink is as blank as a white page. Meaningless, meaningless. The effort to write is, the text becomes illegible. But what if I could drive back the filth just a little? If I had a little more of my human thoughts back, I could do more with the thoughts beyond human. I could achieve such marvels that neither the human clay nor the liquid dreams of the sleeper could accomplish separately. The orbs are corrupted, but I can fix them. Yes, they who sleep will notice me. When I wave into the infinitude of the abyss, it will smile back. Okay. Now who wrote that? Um, is that thing going to kill me? Fully powered. Oh, it doesn't like that. When I turn to look at it, it retreats. Thank you for narrating that. I did not pick up on that. Ah, my hand. Get on out of here. I will stare at you so hard, you have no idea. I don't have an orb. Did I stutter? Give me that old. This one's working differently. The scar is not charging this enough. I, maybe I need more energy. The what orb the of decay. This place. Your hands are full. What? Okay. Put 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 put, put, put that down a second. Where am I? Sleep is no place to call its own. My name is Illegible. I'm still on this planet. Today I vomited in disgust of my failure, and what I vomited up tried to crawl away, looked at pleadingly as I killed it. Easy. Illegible. You are a scientist, aren't I? There are no failed experiments, only more data to collate. Yes. The orbs are corrupted from their original purpose by the sibilant frequencies of the filth. So I commanded the black worm uh, to believe the orbs, but the filth is stubborn. It will not give up the corpse of its enemy. It is a light source, I suppose, but I do not require light. I have not used the bovine jelly of my sockets for some time. The bovine jelly of my sockets. 
Who calls your eyes that? Where am I? Say my name. Blah, 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 blah. Easy. I will write down my method for writing reveals. I take the vermiculated orb and I charge it using the machine I fabricated from the Martian schematic. Supercharging the anima burns out the infecting filth. It works, but only for the moment. The flare of the supercharged anima burns itself out momentarily, allowing the zero-point pathogen to take root again. What if I soaked it in the pools? My theory is sound. I will achieve it. Whoever was here was trying some kind of experiment. Soak it in the pools? I'm looking at you, boy. Get. Go on, get. I bet earlier when I died, this thing, like, snuck up behind me and got me in the back. How? Achievement unlock corruption. I don't understand. Wait, that's it? Oh, maybe now I take it back. Maybe I go back to the thing it was at. It worked. It's clearing the way. Okay. Do I take it with me or just leave it there? What? Did you guys see, like, a tentacle on the left side of my screen? Stop it! <laughs> Why am I in some old person's house? Oh, God. I think I have to bring the orb with me. Or not. Okay. Do do things. A purple cord going to the right just lit up. It goes through the wall. Okay, this okay, this is cleared now. What do you do? Where am I? Sleep is no place to call its own. Who am I? Do I exist? No one exists. We are just thoughts. More thoughts arrive. They look like space people. Space suits? They might wake up the dreamers. I think I will torture them. My mother frightened me with stories of witches and hags. Jenny Greenteeth pulling children into the pond to eat, but my mother never existed. Whoever's writing this is the reason that the whole crew is having bad dreams about a witch. I can be Jenny Green Teeth, Jenny Filth Teeth. I'll give the space people such nightmares. I wonder if the glow of this pretty, pretty orb will attract them. I could be the glass toothed grin beneath the light stalk of an anglerfish. Thanks, guy. Do I bring the previous orb with me? Oh, there's the symbol. Ah, oh, bah, bah. Okay, so I think touching that almost killed me. Ooh. 
You see that painting? I was sitting here putting that orb down and I was like, that is a freaky looking painting. If that painting moves, I am going to mentally prepare myself. And then the freaking door opened to the opposite side of me. Are you clenching, son? Oh, I am folding my chair in half. Does anyone know when the VODs is go up on YouTube? Usually within, like, within 12 hours. I prepare them before I go to bed, and then I publish them the following morning, usually. I, okay, I can't put that there. What does this game turn into? I don't know. I'm wait. I'm waiting on them to like shake him awake in the medical ward. Be like, oh man, you were really tripping out. You're so embarrassing. I don't get it. This orb opened this passage, and I don't see anything I can do over here. Wait. The orb is glowing. Okay. There was this thing on the ceiling. This is familiar. Three connections. This is so weird. Am I going the wrong way? Is this the right way? <sighs> Dude, I was fixing a sprinkler five minutes ago. Satan's like, how did you end up on my doorstep? And I'm like, I don't know. I was fixing a sprinkler. And he's like, a sprinkler? And I'm like, I'm not a clever man. Hello, little dream. I wonder what you are. Mom? 
all of the other little dreams are gone. They imagine themselves as Is this Shane's mom? The filth born into their shoulders. Just like the old. Just like you. They made such noise, they tried to wake the moons. The moon to bury a book to see you. They must never wake. The lullaby must never end. The moon's band above us. It is all but a brilliant equation. Once you open a book, it's already too late. It is the contagion of forever. It was always too late. Open, shall I let you dream? Yeah. I'm hitting spacebar trying to do like magic or something. It's not working. I was trying to use the glowy hand thing, but it, it didn't work. What? The My shun childhood basement. The shun the basement. <laughs> Looks like something's stuck here. A picture? <gasps> Dark room. Knock before opening the door. Electrified water. We're gonna play Floor is Lava. Turn the electric water off. It's that thing in the greenhouse. Okay, now that we turn the electricity off, did something become unavailable to us over here? Don't wind up the clapping monkey! I hate these things. Why did you wind it up? Why do you own it? Stop winding it up! It's the Cyrano. Are those people flying out of the ship? Did she kill all of the Cyrano people, too? That haven't landed yet? Time is not linear, is it? Or maybe time is a flat circle, a petri dish poked by gigantic fingers. We are the bacteria, are we? I keep seeing things outside of my time. It makes things difficult with my family. I've locked myself down here with blank photo paper and chemicals. I'm able to make my visions manifest. I can project such thoughts. I see a space vessel heading towards the red planet. His mom disappeared when he was a kid. Now, this could all just be in his head and nonsense, or maybe his mom disappeared after something happened down here, where she would be working and uh, see stuff. C-B-E-H-E-B-E. -E -E -E. Carbon, beryllium, helium, I'm not gonna remember this. Copper. Really no, not copper. Not copper. Carbon, beryllium, helium, beryllium. <laughs> that was that was actually funny timing. <sighs> Dude, did any of y'all ever live in a house with a basement this big? I didn't. There's part of that symbol again. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Yeah, me neither. Let's start it. Someone said, what about the numbers? Okay, hang on.
the atomic number? It's like 12949? Or do you mean the, the number at the top left? So it'd be 6424. Oh, I think I was looking at the... I haven't looked at a periodic table in years. I think I was looking at the atomic weight. 6424. Looks like something's stuck here. Wow, I just... okay. Yeah, crowbar out of nowhere. <laughs> Mine! You can't have it! It looks like some sort of doorway. I see light behind the bookcase. Periodic table launch room, match atomic with volume number. Uh, carbon, beryllium, helium. Six. Four. So three, two. Four. Don't turn around. Okay, y'all were right. It was the. What the? Fuck? What is all this? You can't I've never seen this room before. Was mom really keeping this woohoo thing down here? Oh. Whoa! Hey, you got me. I remember her being an eccentric, but not like this. A pair of orbs. Weird. Even from this photo, it feels like they're watching me. So we put the pictures on the wall? Huh. No glowing symbols on these tablets. That's Cthulhu who look at thing in the bottom right. Their liquid dreams lubricate the passage. Call it Nurgle's Rot. Call it the Devouring Plague. Call it the Zero Point Pathogen. The Black Word jizz in the filth. The sizzling celestial syphilis eats holes in reality. Bless you. One might enter those shrieking zones. To leave, one must find the tear in the skin of space. Yitcha fatagu, yitcha shag, yitcha shag. Insert joke about my sofa floating, but I'm too freaked out right now. La fauma fatagan, la naya fatagan, ya akthsun. The dreaming ones were and are and will be. They are parents spawn and man and manger also. Manger, also, sleeping in the space between. Their dreams bubble and blaspheme, birthing quivering dimensions that mate with each other, forming new incestuous dominions. Not reality, not illusion, hyper-reality. The proper incantations allow travel into these pocket dimensions, but one might fall in by happenstance through knowledge of the dreaming ones through proximity. That, the little bit of that I understood actually sounds terrifying. Whoa, those are pictures. Oh, there's the symbols again. Honestly, what what if what if the big twist at the end, chat, is she just had a really big coffee mug, and th these are just coffee rings from all the places she set her coffee down, and my and my hand got burned because twice she put her coffee mug down on my hand as a kid, and she felt like such a bad mom she left. What is this? There are no solar eclipses on Mars. Phobos and Deimos are far too small. Total lunar eclipses of Phobos, however, are a nearly nightly occurrence. These frightful siblings do not behave as our moon does. Fleet Phobos rises in the west, sets in the east, and rises a mere 11 hours later. Deimos rises more lazily from the east. Both moons are tidally locked, always showing the same face toward Mars. They never look away, they stare fixedly. Phobos stalks Mars. Its orbit decreases slowly. Someday it will crash into the red planet. Evidence suggests Mars may have had many more moons at one time, each meeting that fate, each committing self-destruction. Can you inspect the photo numbers? Uh, 
they've got like I mean there's like the time things on the bottom I wonder if I do them in order of the like the timestamp thing which means this would be first I wonder if this timestamp is important. Giant mug stains everywhere. It's the Cyrano. It was Muglog all along. Muglog, <laughs> exclamation my name for that story. These symbols, they're similar to the ones on the altar. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the alt. That book. I know that book. Mom was very protective of it. Yeah, I bet she said Hail Satan a lot too. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. I suspect the blank ones are missing something. <sighs> that thing doesn't look like it's gonna let go of the book. All right, so the left tablet was the picture puzzle. The right one was when I got near it. The top one... I don't yet know the deal with the top one. There... The pictures were scattered around the basement. Maybe I have to look around some more for something for that top one. So that hurts if you're near it too long. It's the monkey. It was the monkey all along. Oh, I just realized, chat, I don't have my flashlight anymore. I'm trying to use it. It is not working. Not slam doors behind you when we're in Spook Sylvania. Thank you. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. Can't hit tab to look at inventory either. Must be a way to free it. I need to see what's inside. Activate the light up thing and run back. Could try it. One of the tablets started glowing when I neared the altar. Wonder if there's multiple copper. I wonder if there's multiple stare at it and it lights up things in here somewhere. 